India's modernization story rides on rails, faster, smarter, and greener. The Delhi-Varanasi bullet train is set to redefine travel and transform the heart of the nation. In this video, we'll walk you through every detail of the project, its vision, route, tech, cost, current status, and the powerful impact it could generate by 2025. The Delhi-Varanasi High-Speed Rail Corridor is part of India's ambitious Diamond Quadrilateral, linking major metros with high-speed networks. The 813-858 km corridor is planned for 350 km per hour speeds, reducing a grueling 11-hour journey to an electrifying 2 hours and 37 minutes. The corridor will connect not just capitals, but cultural and industrial hubs, Mathura, Agra, Lucknow, Prayagraj, Ayodhya, and culminate at Varanasi, the spiritual heart of India. There are 12 planned stops, including an underground station at Jevar Airport, and elevated stations across Uttar Pradesh. Key stations include Delhi, Noida, Jevar, Mathura, Agra, Itava, Kannaj, Lucknow, Rabareli, Prayagraj, and Varanasi. Some plans include a spur to Ayodhya via Lucknow, reinforcing the corridor's economic viability. Designed for 350 km per hour with operational speeds around 320 km per hour, the corridor will use standard gauge track, 25 kV AC electrification, and advanced signaling systems including automatic train control and URDAS for earthquake detection. Rolling stock is expected to operate with modern, low-vibration coaches, ensuring high safety and passenger comfort comparable to Shinkansen systems. The corridor aims to cut travel time to just 2 hours 37 minutes from old 11-hour journeys. Planning targets multiple daily departures, with trains every 22 minutes at busy stations like Lucknow's Avath Crossing and 18 trains from Varanasi at 47-minute intervals. NHSRCL prepared the DPR and conducted LIDAR surveys between 2019 to 2021. But the railway board has flagged alignment issues, multiple curves along NH, 2 are preventing the design from supporting safe 350 km per hour operations. As of August 2025, authorities continue revising alignments to ensure straight corridors and safe curves. Tenders for design studies, environmental impact assessments, and station planning have been awarded to multiple firms. Earlier projections estimated a project cost of 171,000 Indian rupees crore, while other estimates reached 2.28 Indian rupees lakh crore, including the Ayodhya spur. The financial structure will involve central and state funding, international loans, and possibly PPP models. Just like the Mumbai Ahmedabad corridor, Multiple funding streams and station area development revenue will likely underpin the feasibility strategy. This corridor promises more than speed, it's a catalyst for tourism, trade, and regional growth. Varanasi and Ayodhya stand to gain from faster pilgrimage and tourist access. Transit-oriented nodes in Lucknow, Agra, and Prayagraj can spur industrial and real estate development. Plus, reduced road and air congestion mean fewer emissions and sustained economic benefits. Design challenges are real, curves must be minimized, and alignment may require elevated sections or tunnels to maintain speed. Environmental obstacles, land acquisition, and social displacement all require stakeholder engagement and smart design. Revised DPRs are actively addressing these concerns. Positioned in the Diamond Quadrilateral, this corridor complements national connectivity, from Delhi to Kolkata via Varanasi and to Mumbai. It strengthens India's high-speed transport backbone and supports long-distance integration and regional development strategies. The Delhi-Varanasi bullet train is more than a project, it's a vision for a connected, efficient, and prosperous future. As of August 2025, it stands at a crossroads of technical precision and strategic ambition. If you found this breakdown insightful, please like, subscribe to the Build Chronicle, and let us know which mega project we should explore next.